Hey, good morning, everyone. It's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Thanks for jumping on to click to Houston.com. We've seen most of the rain showers start to clear. The question now is, is that we're looking for a potential for some very cold air to be moving in over the next couple of days. Look at the snow from San Angelo as you go out towards I-20 just south of Dallas changing over. Obviously, we're not going to get that. Fortunately, I know a lot of folks out there like a little bit of snow. We're just dealing with the wind and then we'll see the freeze warnings kick in tonight right around midnight through 9 a.m. Now, most of the light freeze conditions are going to be north of I-10. So think up towards Conroe as you get to Huntsville, up to Lufkin, for example, Madisonville, Livingston also uh, could be seeing a few hours of temperatures below 32 degrees. Winds have been fairly strong as well, anywhere from around 10 to 20 miles an hour, and that app may actually help keep our temperatures up just a bit uh, as the winds will help to stir the air mass up. About 40 mile an hour wind gusts right now down towards Galveston, ranging anywhere from around 20 to 30 miles elsewhere. It is going to be a very blustery afternoon. We'll continue to watch those temperatures fall and hold into the mid 40s for the rest of the afternoon. However, with the wind, it's going to feel more like the low 40s and upper 30s. Look at some of these temperatures across the spot. Seven as you get up towards Denver. It's 20 in Amarillo, 33 in Dallas, and tonight. Uh, we've got our uh, big Thursday night matchup here. The Oakland Raiders going to Arrowhead Stadium. It is going to be a cold one. Game time temperatures like about 14 degrees, wind chilled about 10 to 6. So for tomorrow morning, here's what we're looking at. Our 32 degree line likely running around Cleveland, south of Conroe through Tomball, so just north of Harris County, down through Katy. Now some areas around there may briefly get below freezing, but you get the general idea. It is going to be a very cold start to the day, even down to the coast. So the morning freeze will be on, but once that high starts to slide off to the east, that'll allow for a pretty quick warm up as we get in towards your Saturday. Sunday, another cold front comes through. That'll bring some scattered showers and maybe an occasional thunderstorm out by the coast, but not much. And then clearing out from Monday by Tuesday into Wednesday. We've got another front moving on through that one eventually starts to kick in some colder, windier conditions. So similar to what we're seeing today. So kind of a roller coaster ride over the next four to five days. 48 for the high today that will crash into the low 30s tomorrow. 50 for the high on Friday and also looking at Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Keep just a chance for some showers through as we see that next system slide on in. We're going to go from the 70s to 60s to 40s and then back up to the 60s once again. That's your forecast from right here. Click to Houston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of your work week and get you set for your weekend right here. Click to Houston.com.